this video, you will see how new terms are added to Thumo slang vocabulary. In a conversation in the morning, on the second Thursday of April, Jim believed that he disappointed Nick. Jim must have based his conclusion on second-guessing or overthinking. After asking Jim to explain the meaning of disappointment, Nick believed that Jim misplaced his belief. This experience brought Nick to a review his Thumo slang vocabulary. He found the following three existing thumbnail definitions on fulfillment, effort, and failure. Fulfillment, that means meeting requirements. Effort, that means vigorous attempt. Failure, that means wasted effort. Nick then added to his Thumo slang registry the following two new thumbnail definitions. One one non-fulfillment and the other disappointment. Non-fulfillment, that means fulfillment failure. Disappointment, that means displeasure from non-fulfillment. Based on those five thumbnail definitions, a disappointment is displeasure from wasted vigorous attempt without meeting requirements. Looking back, Nick saw that that we did not specify any requirements. Furthermore, we did not make any vigorous attempt. With neither requirements nor vigorous attempt, disappointment is impossible. As you can see, Thumo slang is ESL for English speakers. When you use Thumo slang, you're a black belt in English. That means, with Thumo slang, you can listen better than native English speakers. See you again in the next video of our series. Thumo slang vocabulary. Your reaction to the video. I'm asking you for your feedback of the material presented in the video. Explain the meaning of vocabulary. He found the following three existing thumbnail definitions of fulfillment, effort, and failure. Fulfillment, that means meeting requirements. We didn't have that. We haven't had that. Effort, that means vigorous attempt. We've had some effort. What effort? Uh, the video we made, Time with Chevelle, some means that we've had in the past. It was effort, we were doing things. We were there, was, there was fun activities, that's not an effort in terms of uh, related to disappointment. Okay. You claimed that I had disappointment. And in order to make that claim, you have to have both effort wasted and requirements expected. And we have we, we had neither in relation to the disappointment that you were talking about. Right. Nick then added to his duels did not make any bigger. Yeah, I would say right. Well, no, the disappointment. That I said exactly. I, I know you didn't say that per se, and it was probably something like I said I overthought, but it felt like, like you said, you wanted me to step up. And That's overthinking. Yeah, that, because I you, created disappointment. Yes, in your mind. Sure. But that's not how business disappointment works. Right. Because if it's not in the book, you cannot have expectation. And. Okay, but I I did not ask about what happened this morning. I'm asking for your feedback of this video as a lesson for viewers in the future. Yeah, the only is there enough emphasis 
that there needs to be, like you said, how a business works, that the only way there can be created disappointment is if there is a written task agenda and then an agreed upon party to carry out that energy and effort sure. towards fulfilling That's it. what requirements means. Correct. Yeah. So the lesson is about disappointment, not about what a requirement is. Right. We, we can talk about that in a different video. Yeah. But you, without a requirement, there can be no disappointment. Right. Right. So how do you feel about uh, so how do you feel about the way Thomas Lang is developed over time and this video show a specific example of how two new entries are added to the language yeah it's nice that um, yeah that the Thomas Lang is not just set in stone it's, it's adaptive and can you know clarify things on the on the fly. Whatever whatever the the needs are, right? Like for myself this morning, whatever it is for someone finding their best self. If something like fear of disappointment is holding them back, and it's not in the current edition of Dumas Lane, yes, it needs to be added. That's what needs to happen. Whatever is holding someone back, someone like myself, someone like anyone, if it's not already disposed and we can find a way to answer that okay so how many stars would you give to this video as an English learner let's say one two three four four is the max yes eight basically uh, a b c all right, all right, okay. F. <laughs> it's a lesson on what disappointment means in English, basically. And what it doesn't. I guess. I'll give you a B. Thank you. <laughs>